for having us here. So my name is uh, Chandra Prasad. I am uh, with Cisco Systems, and my with name me, is, my name is Steve Wu, Vela Cloud Networks, uh, co-founder and VP of Product. So we have uh, three demos lined up here on stage, and uh, we have a lot more going on in the booths. So uh, the few demos that we're going to talk about uh, would be the application services um, um, experience, which would enable, which would ba basically showcase, you know, branch to branch and branch to cloud collab applications. Then, this, then uh, the security from an SD-WAN perspective, and last but not the least, network connectivity with uh, Velo Cloud kind of showcasing how they optimize uh, the experience uh, for any cloud-based applications. So heading right into the first slide, and in the interest of time, um, again, we were told by the owner folks that multi-vendor is going to be a big piece uh, of the uh, demos demonstration. So in the true interest of, to, in the true interest of multi-vendor capability, Cisco partnered with VeloCloud in basically show, showcasing the best of SD-WAN offerings together. So from a Cisco perspective, um, what we have in the demo is basically two branch, of, two branch routers with the ISR 4000 series with basically the VeloCloud Edge software running on the server modules. It can either be hosted on the server blade or in the container along with uh, the APKM IWAN app, uh, which, we, which went GA today, which basically orchestrates all of the, the, the SD-WAN magic for Cisco. Steve? All right, and the uh, VeloCloud SD-WAN Edge is installed on-premise, so in the branch or data center. In this case, as uh, Chandra said, as a virtual uh, VNF on the ISR. Uh, we also extend the SD-WAN to the cloud, right? so whether it's infrastructure as a service, uh, UCA as a service, SaaS, or cloud network services. And we do this with the VeloCloud multi-tenant gateway, which is deployed in the cloud. And we also have an orchestrator in the cloud, obviously, but also could be installed on-premise. And this provides the SD-WAN management, as well as the insertion of network services in the cloud. So just to add, uh, basically, there is a lot of secret sauce, or a lot of capabilities in the ISRs. Uh, an example would be uh, application visibility that basically VeloCloud would take advantage in terms of, you know, providing a better experience uh, either to the to the branch or basically onto the cloud. So with, without further ado, let's get into the first uh, demo. So the first demo basically uh, is an app services demo where we where we have a three-way uh, video call between branch to branch and branch to the branch to cloud. Right, and then also as in this case again the. Uh VeloCloud VNF is running on the ISR, and the ISR will send traffic based on the application, which is telepresence, and the destination, which is the cloud. We'll send that through the VeloCloud Edge, which will optimize across the internet to the Cisco cloud-hosted collaboration over the internet. So let's uh, jump right into the demo. We help with the audio, please. And this was recorded yesterday at Onan on the floor. Challenges with the audio? It's running it's on right that PC. Apologies, folks. So we actually wanted to have a live demo, uh, but uh, there were some logistic challenges. So we had this recorded up until 2 a.m. last night. So hopefully the audio comes through. Are we good, Nick? What we're going to do is create a multi-party conference call. First, we start with a branch-to-branch -branch, uh, call. Okay. okay. So Cisco, SD-WAN, IntelliJ. What we're going to do is create a multi-party conference call. First, we start with a branch-to-branch -branch, uh, call. Right. So Cisco SD-WAN Intelligent Path Control is going to select the best available path based on SLA metrics and bandwidth. So initially, we'll notice the video quality is better since there is no impairment on the one cycle. Now we are going to add impairment for branch-to-branch -branch call. So you will notice the pixelization initially but Cisco's intelligent path control, part of SD-WAN solution, seamlessly moves the video call to the alternate path 
based on the SLA matrix. Okay, so let's now also in introduce the impairment between the branch and the cloud. So you see a little bit of pixelization that quickly resolves. Uh, this is because the VeloCloud dynamic multi-path optimization detects the problem and enable dynamic error correction to mitigate the packet loss and jitter and maintain the video quality. If there were multiple links or multiple paths between the branch and the cloud, the VeloCloud dynamic multi-path optimization can also steer the application flows per packet within sub-second to the better performing path. So we have created a multiple, we have showed a multi-party video conference call. And now Cisco and VeloCloud can jointly protect the application SLA, not only for branch to branch, but also for branch to cloud. Those were, uh, that was Kangwan and uh, Madhavan. Uh, so the so second demo that we have basically is, uh, is uh, showcasing the security capabilities on the Cisco ISR. So Cisco ISR, as, as uh, probably most of you are aware, um, comes fully packed with uh, you know, the, the capability to segment uh, uh, traffic and, and intrusion, uh, intrusion detection and prevention capabil in capabilities with, with, a, with, a, with a feature called SNORT. So what we have here is basically an ISR which, which has um, segmentation built into it plus the IPS IDS capabilities. In the demo, we have two clients. One is an enterprise laptop and the other one is an iPad which is a BYOD. So what you would see here is basically if the traffic coming from the enterprise laptop is automatically put into the um, enterprise VRF or the enterprise segmentation or the enterprise tagging, and uh, the device that comes on board or, uh, or the BYOD device is basically uh, put into a, a different category that basically goes back into the branch for, for authentication and, and um, for additional security um, uh, transactions. So what we have here is live action. The trusted employee laptop is assigned a secure group tag three. Now I'm going to add the iPad bring your own device iPad also which is untrusted so we I'm going to filter with the secure group tag 4 so we added uh, the secure group tag 4 so now we can see both the employee laptop is using 3 and the untrusted iPad is using 4 also, you notice that internet traffic going from the employee laptop directly goes from the branch. It also goes over the SNOT IPS IDS running on a container in the local router. The untrusted iPad device internet bound traffic is backhauled all the way to headquarters and then goes to internet. The backhauling is done to have advanced scanning on the headquarters. So a quick point on the previous slide is basically the segmentation piece. So depending on the type of device that's coming onto the network, the network automatically configures it to be either on the trusted domain or the untrusted domain. So the, the, third, the third demo is Thanks, on Daniel. the network connectivity. Sure, so it's the network connectivity to cloud data centers. So the VeloCloud cloud gateway provides the ideal head end Right, to connect hundreds to thousands of branches to multiple cloud data centers uh, from multiple providers. So basically you don't have to backhaul back to an enterprise data center and you don't have to do uh, direct branch to cloud connections, branch by branch by branch, cloud by cloud. It's done by the gateway and this gateway is hosted by VeloCloud, uh, by our service provider partners, as well as by large enterprises themselves. So let's jump to the uh, demo. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to connect multiple of your branches to multiple VPCs. Here we already have a VPC created on AWS West. Now we download the configuration from the VPC, which tell me the IP address yeah. and the key to connect to this VPC. So now all I have to do is just create a new site on my VeloCloud Orchestrator input the IP address and the key information. Now we need to specify the subnet of the VPC and then enable the tunnel. So what happened at this point is the closest VeloCloud gateway 
to the VPC establishes the IPsec connectivity to the VPC and notify all the very local edges to build secure overlay tunnel to the gateway. So now let's check for the connectivity from the PC behind one of the branches. Looks like the tunnel is already up and we can confirm the same thing on both Amazon VPC and on the VeloCloud Orchestrator. Okay. So closing remarks, uh, instead of having us speak anymore, we have uh, Iwamoto-san uh, from NetOne, a leading Japan cloud provider and partner to both Cisco and VeloCloud. Just give us a quick view. It's okay. It's okay. So NetOne is um, a Cisco and a VeloCloud partner, as well as a cloud service provider. We pioneered IP networking business in Japan uh, as first partner with Cisco 28 years ago, and uh, have deployed tons of Cisco routers, and including a Cisco uh, ISL. Now we see the opportunity to transform networking with SD1 in Japanese market. We can easily add new virtual functions uh, from like a Cisco and the cloud onto the Cisco platform. This is really exciting. So I see great demand for assuring uh, application performance on any uh, broadband network and even in a hybrid cloud environment. So we are really excited about uh, working with uh, Cisco and the cloud uh, to deliver soft uh, SD1 solution to Japanese customers.